Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my own wavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds. Too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. The platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life, with a bunch of metal bimbos. Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? I need a favour. 
Sarita. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you won't mind signing for it then. <laughs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? Okay. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. One what? One favor. How do I know you're good for your favors? You can bank my favors. Fuck. Scratch, not a stain, nothing, all right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah, you're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. for now! What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. <laughs> Get off! Sorry. You open it up. She goes inside. You out of your fucking mind! <laughs> Fuck's sake! Right, now you get in the car. Wait, dickhead! Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. The night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. 
Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Look, I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, OK? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smartass. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? You guys would have had headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yeah, certainly can. Looks like I just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. And what do I get in return? Don't push your luck. Five grand for unlocking the car, and as of tonight, I'm out of a job, so I want a full share. There is no share. I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. OK, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this! It's done. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut and take the money? I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choiza are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. 
Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred fifty thousand pounds. This marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is... 150 grand. For its time. Just Thank try you. to keep Very it powder dry. Oh, I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tramp. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three That's simply beautiful pieces. remaining examples okay, great. of a red there. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about that? Okay. And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, Richard, price, on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you, stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear... 10-5. You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. I'm going to have a heart attack. You, madam. You have 11, it's your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. 11, okay, so. Because, you know, price we have 11 five. logarithmic curve. Derivative 11 approaching five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another your bid are the 11, madam. Well, it's 11 five. Half percent. Trust me. 11 five. 11 five I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11.5, it's way. your bid. It's against you now, bit. It's against you, sir. 11.5. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12, 5. 12, 5. 12, 5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12, 5. So do I hear 13? Against you now, madam. 12, 5. Are we all out? At 12, 5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 
12 five once, 12 five twice. So, to the gentleman on my right, for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Let's get the hell out of here. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? Staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Smoothly. 
I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're we'll beginning to like playing this game. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't, I. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the box. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place to turn it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. to finish what you started. Mr. Worth. Yeah, but that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling! Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go.
Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four. Four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four on me, please. No, no, no. M mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eaten? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not to Lynn. Follow me, please. Tell me. No. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn beige over here. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with her? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom, go on, coordinate, ho hoi. Goodbye. We will not meet again.
still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl! This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations and my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. Believe Wu. They knew nothing about the job. You look convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. And good evening from N Channel News. I'm Oliver Simmons. <sighs> no, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for twenty percent job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, Kitty. Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. Your choice of the world's history. Your choice of words. 
We got him killed by taking it there. Where is it? I don't know. I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where is the ball? Look, I haven't got it. Okay, it was taken from me and now I don't know where it is. Lies. Look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Or... Disrespect, we're punished. Now for the final time, where is the real ball? I, I don't understand. Where is the ball you took from the auction, not the copy you had in your pocket? The original. The original ball that you stole, where? What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I, I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? A as far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. Hey, Gong Mei, who on the is you? Who is it? 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 I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Bowl equals pain. The longer you have bowled, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! Fucking hell! No, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The bowl is ours. First to tell the truth is free. The other is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma, game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. Well, choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one. Good choice. Very honorable death. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death comes slowly over a long, 
long time. <laughs> Great. Where is the bull? The original bull. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Look, look, I am genuinely telling you. Okay, I know nothing about swapping the original for a fake. Okay, I, I was forced to be part of the robbery. I had no choice. I, I, I knew nothing about the plan apart from what to do next. There is nothing I can tell you that's of any use. You're just wasting your time with me. That's the absolute truth. Long Daiwa. Oh, Where is the original? Do we repeat? Second round, like I thought, the girl kept quiet. Where? Oh, fuck! She followed the strategy. If I get this wrong, the mailing gets one of those knives through the stomach. And so do I. God, I don't know. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> this can only continue. Where is the original? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. Every finger and every knuckle continuing every joint. You will see daylight, but still, it will continue. Where is the original? Christ, that girl's tough. Do I even believe that she's in there? Is she a part of this? I is she a part of the gang and they think that I'm the only one who knows where the original is? Am I just prolonging the inevitable? F fuck. Fuck. Do I trust her? Then I'll see you in the fucking morning, mate. <laughs> Go, job. A lady says you lied to us. That you're the only one who knows where it is. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we please speak in fucking English? I didn't say you're the only one who knows where it is. I said you're the only one who can get to it. It's okay. Decided. You bring us the ball, she stays hostage. If you fail, she dies. <laughs> it's Pa. The one who fucked us. He fucked us all. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who forged the copy for him. Oh, fuck me. Enough. Time to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know. Okay, Pa. I have to make this fucker pay for what he's done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing?
Am I really doing this? Alright. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. 